What is up y'all? It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm. It's almost so bright out here. I cannot even see. That is such a wonderful thing though. If we're gonna be stuck at home, it's at least great for the weather to be nice so we can get out and work in the yard, work in the garden. And today, that's exactly what we're doing. We're not working in the yard and the garden, but we're working on something that could be a huge problem. And by huge, I mean really, really huge. The pigs have almost tore down a building. Let me show you what I'm talking about. over here I, I took some footage over there but it's loud over there by the tractor and the track hoe um, that is our pig pen where we've always raised our weaning piglets and that pond actually started out really tiny it was just a little water hole for them to be able to get water in um, and then they started wallering in it when it gets hot summertime here in the south um, pigs get hot and they like to waller around in the mud and in the cool water and they just got it muddy and they just made it bigger and bigger and bigger and we've repaired it a couple times over the years it's by no means the first time we've repaired it but it's gotten bad and actually the outbuilding that's beside it um, that's an old building that ben's grandpa used to milk cows in but we've used it for all kinds of things from a root cellar because it stays really really cool it's a concrete building to um, storage but it has a big crack in the wall i tried to point at that um, at some point in my footage but I'm gonna take you inside and show you so that is the corner of the room you can see the crack really pronounced and so we're hoping that this didn't go too far uh, and then on that side this is an old building so excuse the dirtiness of it it's just the old outbuilding you can see a crack so we're really concerned that that whole corner of the building could completely fall off so we've had ways to divert the water out there, but it's just gotten worse and worse. Um, and it's to the point now that um, what the guys are doing is just trying to build dirt back up against the wall of the building, make the pond smaller. We've moved all pigs out of there. Emily and I moved them um, along with little of Ben's health this morning. There's no pigs in there and there won't be any pigs in there for a bit. We have to let that settle and kind of pack back down against the wall and then we'll go from there i don't know what we'll do but we're just trying to save the building at this point all right the boys are working on the equipment and trying to fix that problem and so it is the girls we're heading over to um we need to rotate some cows so they've got more grass uh, one of the pens we've already rotated but we need to get their minerals to them so this is a whole lot easier with the boys but emily and i are going to attempt this ourselves i mean us girls can do it, I think. Girl power. showed y'all moving the cows from paddock to paddock um, I think it was on a couple videos ago but we didn't move the minerals so Emily and I are over here that's our first job get their minerals in here to them so I'm adjusting gates and panels and everything so I can drive and pull it as far as I can and then we'll just have to do it by hand the rest of the way we thought about bringing an ATV but it's a little distance over here and just really didn't want to mess with driving that far on the ATV today so truck it is we can pull in as far as we can with the truck and maybe the mineral will be sitting here and we can just roll it over into there because they're in the front paddock okay okay all right i know you may be thinking that this panel is sad but it's what we have and we like to work with what we have
too. Job number one is done. Now on to move some cows. All right, we're over at our other uh, paddock of cows over here. They need more grass. So Emily and I are going to get some troughs and take them up in the corner by the gate. And they actually have to run across. It's a dirt road, it's a back road. There's not much traffic, there is some but we're gonna pin them up in the corner by feeding them. And then we're gonna use our Gallagher reel that we showed you a couple videos ago um, and pin them up in that corner. They're not behind hot wire right now, but they respect it. We're hoping they'll stay up there while we get some, we're just gonna use some ropes and set them up across the road and try to run them quickly across the road, take it all down before a car comes, and then we'll come back and get their minerals as well. All right, we're gonna throw these um, plastic feed troughs down they're actually just half of a big plastic barrel and we're gonna try to call them and hope they come up here Emily and I are gonna get set up and try to string a wire behind them when they come we're giving this a go we're hoping they're gonna come right up here and eat and we can shut them in They didn't come to my cow call, so this is attempt number two, three, four, I don't know what. Emily and I are gonna try to get behind them with the hot wire and walk them up here. job move these cows minerals and we girls are done and we are done that was awesome a lot of times we rely on the guys to help us do stuff and that's great I'm super thankful that we have them and that um, they're here to help us because there's a lot of things we just can't physically do um, you saw us struggle in moving that mineral trough but we got it done and so sometimes it feels just really good and a big sense of accomplishment to just get out there and try and do things yourself you're not always gonna be successful um, that doesn't just go for girls and women that's just life in general you're not always gonna be a hundred percent successful um, but you know what? That shouldn't stop us from trying. And I thank y'all for hanging out with this day. You got something you wanna say? God bless. We'll see y'all later. Before we go for real, I thought I'd take you out here and show you what the pond looks like now. So, looks a lot better. Ben's worked a lot today. Yes, that looks so much better. That looks a lot better. A lot of space between the building and the pond. This is the backside of an old, old, old barn. I don't know how old, but I'm going to guess like at least, I don't know, 70, 80, maybe more years old. So excuse it. It actually looks pretty good. We've had a lot of work done on it and that's a silver trough sitting over there, but, but you can see the pond looks a lot better.